Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. A marble tile would feel cold as compared to a wooden tile on a winter morning, because the marble tile. Option A is a better conductor of heat than the wooden tile. Option B is polished while wooden tile is not polished. Option C reflects more heat than wooden tile. Option D is a poor conductor of heat than the wooden tile. The right answer is option A. Is a better conductor of heat than the wooden tile. Marble tile being a good conductor of heat absorbs more heat from the foot as compared to wooden tile and hence makes feel colder than a wooden tile. Question number 2. A beggar wrapped himself with a few layers of newspaper on a cold winter night. This helped him to keep himself warm because Option A friction between the layers of newspaper produces heat. Option B air trap between the layers of newspaper is a bad conductor of heat. Option C newspaper is a conductor of heat. Option D. Newspaper is at a higher temperature than the temperature of the surrounding. The right answer is option B. Air trap between the layers of newspaper is a bad conductor of heat. The newspaper contains air trapped in between its layers. The trapped air being a poor conductor of heat prevents the flow of heat from beggar's body to the surroundings thereby keeping the beggar warm. Question number 3. Pahali and Bulyho measured their body temperature. Pahali found hers to be 98.6 degree F and Bulyho recorded 37 degrees Celsius. Which of the following statement is true? Option A Pahali has a higher body temperature than Bulyho. Option B Pahali has a lower body temperature than Bulyho. Option C Both have normal body temperature. Option D Both are suffering from fever. The right answer is option D. Both have normal body temperature. Both of them have normal body temperature, that is, 37 degree Celsius which is equivalent to 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. The conversion formula is, T, degree Fahrenheit, equals to, T, degree Celsius, into, 1.8, plus 32. Question number 4. Bulyho has three thermometers as shown in figure 4.1. He wants to measure the temperature of his body and that of boiling water. Which thermometer should he choose? Option A thermometer 1 or 3 for measuring body temperature and 2 for measuring the temperature of boiling water. Option B thermometer 1, for measuring temperature of both. Option C thermometer 2, for measuring temperature of both. Option D thermometer 3, for measuring temperature of both. The right answer is option A. Thermometer 1, or 3 for measuring body temperature and 2 for measuring the temperature of boiling water. Thermometer 1 is a clinical thermometer and 3 is a digital thermometer and both are used for measuring body temperature whereas 2, 
one is laboratory thermometer used for measuring the temperature of boiling water. Question number 5. Four arrangements to measure temperature of ice in beaker with laboratory thermometer are shown in figure 4.2, A, B, C and D. Which one of them shows the correct arrangement for accurate measurement of temperature? Option A, Option B, Option C, Option D. The right answer is Option A. While measuring the temperature using laboratory thermometer following steps should be kept in mind. It should be kept vertical. It should be dipped such that the bulb should be entirely surrounded by the substance of which the temperature is to be measured. The bulb of the thermometer should not touch the surface of the container. Figure A has followed all of these steps and hence shows the correct arrangement. Question number 6. A to D shows a student reading a doctor's thermometer. Which of the figure indicates the correct method of reading temperature? Option A. Option B. Option C. Option D. The right answer is option A. Thermometer must be read keeping the level of mercury along the line of sight and must not be held by the bulb therefore option A represents the correct method. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.